Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to start with a new topic, block diagram. Let us see the introduction now. So a block diagram is nothing but it is a pictorial representation. That is, it is a representation in the form of figures or pictures of functions performed by each component. For example, whenever we consider a system, a system will consist of some components, right? Okay, a single, a single component won't perform the entire function as we all know. So, it is a pictorial representation or diagrammatic representation of functions performed by each component which are present in that system. And flow of signals. Here flow of signals are indicated by means of arrowhead. Flow of signals are nothing but input signal and corresponding output signal. That's it. And apart from that, this block diagram also tells the interrelationship among various components. That is, for example, in, if a system consists of four blocks, there should be some connection between those four blocks, right? So that is known as interrelationship and that interrelationship is explained by means of this block diagram, right? It is nothing but a diagrammatic representation of a system and apart from that, it also tells the relationship between the different components present in a system and to each and every component there will be one input and there may be, sorry, not a single input, there may be a multiple input also and respectively we will be getting some output, right? This is your block diagram and regarding, so this is the general example of a block diagram. Here, this is some system, right? So this system consists of, you see, this system consists of four components and those four components are represented by this four blocks, right? The next one is, and we have to know that this block diagram tells the flow of signals, right? So here the flow of signals are respectively, this is your input signal R and this is your output signal C and apart from that in between that is between your output and input we are having various signals which are represented by this arrow heads that is to each and every block we are having some input and some output right so this is the best example of a block diagram and the next one is elements of block diagram recording elements the first element is block so the block as I already said if we are having components, the function performed by each component is represented by its own transfer function. So to this transfer function, we are having some input. To that input, we are getting the respect to output. So this is a block diagram, right? The next one is summing point. Here, as the name indicates, summing. Summing is nothing but adding. But here, this is the general representation of a summing point. Depending upon the signs of the input signals, either the two signals will be added or it will be subtracted. So here, for example, here we are having a summer. And to this summer, we are having a signal A. It is with a positive sign. And there is an another signal B with a negative sign. So one with positive sign and another with negative sign. So automatically, the output is A minus B. If again consider the same thing, we are having a summer and again here the input is A with a positive sign and another we are having an another input with a positive sign. Then automatically the output will be A plus B because both are with the same signs that are with that is with the positive sign. Right. And the next one is branch point. So here as you hope you all understand right here the two signals are with positive sign and so here we are adding both these signs that is both these signals a plus b and the next one is branch point so here the branch point as we all know so this is your main line okay through which the signal flows so from this line we are taking out a part a part of it is taken out that is the same input for example let a be the respect to input over here okay this input a is given to this g then simultaneously again this input a is given to some other block which is not represented here okay even we can have this block as some g1 or g2 
that is the same input is given to two different blocks simultaneously that is the signal a is given to block g and at the same time the signal a is given to the block g1 right so this is nothing but your branch point hope you all understand about the block diagram thank you